Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, today we are with the Chevrolet Corvette C8 Stingray. Corvette has always represented the pinnacle of innovation and boundary pushing at GM. The traditional front engine vehicle reached its limits of performance, necessitating the new layout, said GM President Mark Roos. In terms of comfort and fun, it still looks and feels like a Corvette, but drives better than any vehicle in Corvette history. Customers are going to be thrilled with our focus on details and performance across the board. With the eighth generation of the Corvette, Chevrolet has finally produced a mid-engine Corvette, something they have wanted to do for many years and finally did, and by European standards. With the Corvette, Chevrolet got the maximum efficiency it could get from a front-engine car and started to produce mid-engine cars, and with this, its competitors also changed, now it is a competitor to cars like Ferrari Lamborghini. The design of the car is very aggressive, it has a lot of sharp lines. When you open the front of the car, you are greeted with a very sufficient trunk space. There is a total luggage volume of 375 liters in the front and rear. There are functional air intakes at the front of the car and they are very useful in cooling the brakes. The brakes never get hot. The car has three radiators, two in front and one in the rear. There are four piston Brembo calipers on the car, front and rear. There is a double wishbone suspension system and the car is very comfortable for daily use, it does not make you feel that you are driving a super sports car. The design of the car, the lines of the car are really beautiful, there is no need for any aftermarket products. Chevrolet has used everything in this car in the best way possible. The car has a 6.2 liter V8 atmospheric 515 horsepower. 650 newton meters of torque and an 8 speed dual clutch transmission. The Corvette C7 and C6 models had a general handling problem, as you would expect from a classic American car, but this car has fixed that problem and made it good enough to compete with its European rivals. The top can be opened in 16 seconds and up to a speed of 50 kilometers. Inside, we see a steering wheel with a square to round design. There are a lot of details in the car that we are not used to from most cars. It has a completely driver-oriented interior and everything is very well designed. The weight of the car is around 1,500 kilograms, the engine is in the middle of the car, so there's a little bit more weight in the front to balance the weight, but the car is very stable and doesn't flex at all. This car sells for around $140,000 and the Corvette gives you the performance you get from a $250,000 car for almost half the price. The car has a Bose sound system and 16 speakers. I think you may not want to listen to music in such a car because the 6.2-liter V8 atmospheric engine sounds better than most music. The car's fuel consumption doesn't drop below 20 liters very easily, but it's definitely worth it. Finally, if I have to mention the most interesting feature of the car, it can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers in 2.8 seconds, it is really surprising how fast it is despite not having all-wheel drive. That's the end of our Corvette review, thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, see you in the next video.